हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ टॉपिक दैट इज होल्ड्स प्रोमिनेंट इंपॉर्टेंस इन द प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन जनरली यूपीएससी ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ईयर हैज बिन आस्किंग क्वेश्चन लाइक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिटर्न एंड अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिटर्न एंड अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यूनिट्री वर्सिज फेडरल वन यूनिट्री वर्सिज फेडरल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्लियामेंट वर्सिज द प्रेसिडेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट फेडरल यूनिटी रिटर्न अनरिटर्न एंड द लास्ट वन इज फ्लेक्सीबल एंड रिजिड टाइप ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इनहेरेंट डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लाइक in india in the, in united states of america and unwritten constitution is existing in countries like uk okay so without any further delay let us start with the discussion the first difference between the written and unwritten constitution is the codification codified or i can say non codified kya matlab hua iska say for example in a country where there is a written constitution and you go to a library and ask sir please give me the indian constitution the library owner or the library librarian will provide you with a book that is the indian constitution so the entire constitution is codified into a book and that book you can see you can feel that book like here is the constitution but in case of unwritten constitution say you went to a uk library a library in england and ask for a british constitution then that person will have no answer because there is not a single book that that is a british constitution because whatever law that has been made till now will be a part of the uk constitution so there is no definite book but rather all the laws which have been passed till now will form a part of the constitution so here you can get that book the book which is the constitution but here you can note that get that book which is a constitution so basically in a written constitution the laws are codified into a single book while here you can never get a single book because the, all the laws are simply the constitution now the second difference is the distinction and distinction between whom or distinction between what distinction between the constitutional laws constitutional laws and other laws constitutional laws and other laws so here there is a distinction between the constitutional laws and other laws how say for example we have right to property which is a constitutional right i would say right to property so right to property is guaranteed by the constitution right to property is guaranteed by the constitution or i would say it is a constitutional right or a constitutional law similarly i can say there is a right to food and right to food is being provided by the which act national food security act right to food right to food is provided by the national food security act 2013 clearly i can see one is a constitutional right and other is a legal right constitutional right that is provided by the constitution and legal right that is provided by a statute that is provided by a law so there is a segregation between the constitutional law and other laws but here there is no distinction no distinction between the constitutional laws and other laws why because here there is no separation between the constitutional law and other law every law is a part of the constitution because when you merged every law you made the constitution of the country and that constitution is unwritten in nature so there is no difference between the constitutional law and other law in case of unwritten constitution yaad rakhna every law is a part of the constitution jab i am saying every law is part of the constitution mai line likh deta hu here 
every law this is very important point every law is a part of the constitution every law is a part of the constitution but in case of written constitution constitutional laws constitutional laws and other laws are different and other laws are different so what we mean the laws which are there in the book which book the constitution book those are constitution laws and the laws which are not in that book these are other laws say for example ipc ipc you get a different book crpc you get a different book okay cpc you get a different book so basically all these books are different from the constitution so i can say these laws are very much different from the other laws but in case of uk there is no ipc there is no crpc or i can say there is no book of the constitution every law is a part of the constitution so so no such segregation can be made third difference the third difference i would say between the between the written and unwritten constitution is the enacted constitution enacted constitution but here the unwritten constitution is a evolved constitution how in case of a written constitution it is enacted enacted ka matlab kya hua getting it activated getting the constitution activated getting constitution activated how there is a particular date there is a particular date after which the constitution of the country would be adapted by the people of the country so in case of india the date was 26th november 1949 after which the constitution was activated and definitely on the republic day it was adapted by the people of the country but if we see in case of unwritten constitution there is no such concept of the activation enactment here we have the evolved constitution what do you mean by evolved the thing that keeps on the thing that keeps on changing with time keeps on changing with time <clears throat> because in country like united kingdom we do not have a date on which on which the constitution of the country was enacted because from very beginning from years before the laws which were there they already become the part of the constitution and this is how the constitution was continuously changing for the country all right so this is how it is a evolved constitution and it is a enacted constitution ab yahan se एक पॉइंट आई कैन ऑल्सो गेट वेन दिस इज द थिंग वेन इट इज अनेक्टेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डेफिनेटली देर मस्ट बी अ बॉडी विच कुड हैव एनेक्टेड दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड दैट बॉडी वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली इन केस ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली तो दिस बॉडी मेड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड अनेक्टेड इट ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डेट बट इन केस ऑफ यूनाइटेड किंगडम there is no specialized body that has created the constitution because constitution was automatically getting created from the very long period of time this is how it is the difference between the written constitution and unwritten constitution second difference i would say the difference between written and unwritten constitution here the written constitution can be flexible or it can be rigid flexible as in case of sri lanka and rigid as in case of united states of america indian uh, constitution we can also say it is also rigid in some perspectives and also flexible in other perspective so written constitution either it can be flexible or either it can be rigid but if we talk about the unwritten constitution it is always flexible a unwritten constitution is always flexible why because there is no written constitution whatever law the parliament or the law making body of the country wants to change it can easily change like in case of uk when you have unwritten constitution the parliament 
इज सुप्रीम पार्लियामेंट इज सुप्रीम तो इट इज वन मोर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिटर्न एंड अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन केस ऑफ अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एज इट इज फ्लेक्सीबल सो पार्लियामेंट इज वेरी मच सुप्रीम पार्लियामेंट इज सुप्रीम एंड द पावर एंड द पावर ऑफ द जुडिशरी इज लिमिटेड पावर ऑफ जुडिशरी इज लिमिटेड लिमिटेड बट इन केस ऑफ रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन where there is a clear water tight separation between the powers of the three organs of the state the power of the parliament is very much limited so here we have the limited power of the parliament or i would say here the limited power of the judiciary is also there here no one is supreme but i will say the constitution is supreme here the constitution is supreme and legislature executive and uh, judiciary are almost equal but in case of unwritten constitution the parliament is supreme because they do not have a written constitution so who will define what is the power of the parliament whatever power they want to take they can just make a law without any constitutional amendment and that law will define the new powers of the parliament so this is how the difference between the written and unwritten constitution see अगर हम लोग और पॉइंट देखें जनरली होता क्या है जनरली इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज केस बट जनरली द रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गिव्स राइज टू द फेडरल फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट फेडरल फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मतलब हेयर वी हैव द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट देन वी हैव स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू मैनी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वन स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू अप टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ट्वेंटी एट ठीक है but in case of the unwritten constitution in case of unwritten constitution generally we have seen it is giving rise to the unitary type of government what do you mean by unitary type ki yahan pe ek central government hai union government and different regions are getting powers from the union government different regions are getting power from the union government kaise the constitution is giving power only to the union government sara power kisko diya union government ko but this union government is giving further powers to the state government pani dena state government but in case of the federal form it is the constitution it is the constitution that is giving power to the union government as well as the state governments कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन खुद से पावर का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर रहा है बट इन केस ऑफ यूनिटरी टाइप और अनरिटर्न टाइप इट इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट इज गिविंग पावर टू द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एंड दैट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज फर्दर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द पावर्स बिटवीन द डिफरेंट रीजन ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फेडरल फॉर्म एंड यूनिटरी टाइप यहां पर सबसे अच्छा एग्जाम्पल वी हैव इंडिया के लिए वी हैव स्केड्यूल सेवन we have schedule 7 that is distributing the subjects between the union state as well as the concurrent list but in case of united kingdom there is no such concept of the distribution of powers between the state and the center so it was a brief difference between the written uh, constitution and unwritten constitution ek bar revise kar lete hain jaldi se so uh, written constitution we have <coughs> it is an enacted constitution enacted on a particular date and abhi enacted hai definitely it was created through a specialized body or us specialized body ka naam in case of india was the constituent assembly so it was activated on a particular date but the unwritten constitution is an evolved constitution because there is no date of adoption or enactment so yahan pe koi body ka sawal nahi uthta no specialized body is there second point if we see written constitution may be rigid or may be flexible rigid in case of united states of america flexible as in case of the sri lanka limited power of the parliament here we have because here the constitution is supreme rest organs have the limited powers 
उतना ही पावर होगा वट एवर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज गिविंग दैम बट इन केस ऑफ द फ्लेक्सीबल अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दे आर जनरली फ्लेक्सीबल सो पार्लियामेंट इज सुप्रीम बिकॉज दे हैव द पावर टू अमेंड एनी पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और आई कैन से इट कैन अमेंड एनी लॉ एंड सिंस एनी लॉ इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो बाय अमेंडिंग द लॉ यू आर ऑल्सो अमेंडिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड हेयर द पावर ऑफ जुडिशियरी इज लिमिटेड बिकॉज देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द जुडिशियल रिव्यू इन अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज इन रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जनरली द गवर्नमेंट आर ऑफ फेडरल नेचर फेडरल नेचर का मतलब देर आर टू लेवल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वन इज यूनियन एंड द अदर्स आर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड इन केस ऑफ रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन याद रखना इट इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट इज गिविंग द पावर्स टू द रिस्पेक्टिव लेवल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने पावर दिया यूनियन गवर्नमेंट को एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज ऑल्सो गिविंग पावर्स टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बट इन केस ऑफ अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जनरली इट गिव्स राइज टू द यूनिटरी टाइप एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डू नॉट गिव पावर टू द ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सिर्फ यूनियन गवर्नमेंट को पावर देगा एंड अगेन द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द पावर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स ऑन कन्वीनियंस यहां पर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विल नॉट प्ले एनी रोल इन दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रिटर्न एंड अनरिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आई होप यू लाइक द कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन द difference between the written and unwritten constitution we will be meeting in the next lecture with a new set of topics till then keep revising all the best for prelims 2024